the World Academy created the STEAM working group to develop a new model for scientific learning, leadership, and uh, collective competitive collaboration. The STEAM working group is addressing current approaches to science, engineering, technology, and mathematics applications in education, which are still based on a model to Newtonian, Newtonian reductionist thinking, um, which leaves uh, uh, little scope or emphasis to on development of creativity and imagination needed to evolve appropriate solutions to the toughest problems related to current uh, and future social impact and human well-being. Uh, but we have to remember that uh, we are uh, humans. We are an uh, living organisms are a constant combining of multiple forms of communication and interaction between organisms or data. While, while it may be possible to capture and some of them by first order approximation and transmit them to future generation by education, the second and higher order of combination and communication remain unseen, inseparable, undefinable, and crucial to the trajectories, well-being, and aesthetics of ongoing inclusive vitality. We need to capture the second and higher orders of social combination and communication by regenerative co-evolving learning. The usual approach is the, just the, the, the one we are using now, you know, with uh, conference after conference, uh, refining, uh, uh, you know, further approximations uh, for, for understanding better, uh, better and better. But uh, while it may be possible capture some of them by first, first order approximation and transmit them to future generation by education. Uh, the second and higher orders of combination are much, much uh, tougher to transmit. We need to capture the second and higher orders of social combination communication uh, by regenerative co-evolving learning. What does it mean? This requires the inclusion of arts and STEM and in a, a arts in a, in a in their vast in their vast meaning, and commitment from each uh, uh, of us to step beyond our learner specialization and open up a channel to a world that can hold space for paradoxes and contradictions as equally valid perspectives to empower a world based on reconciliation rather than compromises. Compromises, uh, uh, current compromises with knowledge coming from anybody and the key players of heterogeneous realities. Then we will start understanding the value of our biodiversity in the universe which we, immerse, we are immersed within and we uh, are a part of it. And so we can only try to capture them by uh, uh, I said uh, regenerative co-evolving learning. I give you immediately an example. For instance, in infancy, we need tools that have the goal of making of making abstract abstractions visible to bring theory into the brain through the senses as early as possible. And this requires the inclusion of arts in STEM and the commitment for each each of us to step beyond our learner specialization and open up a channel to a world that they can hold the space for paradoxes and contradictions. I think that, that that's the way. So the uh, World Academy and the uh, World Academy STEAM Working Group will evolve symbiotic, cre creative, experiential approaches to address the critical need for changes in the way we think, prepare youth, and apply an integration of art, science, technology, and math to meet social needs. It will engage the World Academy and other organizations to achieve a more integrated form of thinking with regard to the social application and consequences of STEAM on society. Its impact will create bold disruption that yields solutions to the toughest problem of human security, 
welfare and well-being. Well -being. I give you a further example uh, of a new way of thinking, you know, that uh, uh, is, uh, is from uh, uh, quantum mechanics in the sense that uh, we, are, we were educated by Newtonian mechanics. And so I give you this simple example to take uh, your, your thumb finger of the, the right hand thumb finger and the ring uh, finger and try to, to, uh, to touch them and looking at them. And so you immediately see when, when, it, when they touch, okay? Now, try to do the same operation without, without seeing, and you have the feedback by your sen other senses. And when you feel touching them, then you turn your head that and try to look at them. And then you discover that they don't touch it yet. <laughs> this is something to think about. Second example, uh, we usually mirror our images, images on a mirror, on the usual mirror, without the real, I mean, and, and take it for a usual to see our reverse image. That's not, not usual because uh, I think uh, uh, it's not usual at all. It means that uh, we are looking at a representation of ourselves that is reversed. So our representations of the world are reversing the reality. Think about that. So simple and so deep. Okay, and so we need to reimagine uh, an education framework embedded in co-evolutionary -evolution, th living in the present, such that our current actions regenerate value into the future, from infancy to lifelong learning. Finally, let's remember that there is no real enthusiasm if it's not contagious and affects other people like us. So please share with me this enthusiasm. That uh, the uh, recent uh, neuroscience, neuroscientific uh, uh, findings uh, uh, just uh, are saying that uh, uh, our creativity is based on three basic operators. That is blending, breaking, and blending. Bending, breaking, and blending. And, and, and those are not just words, but uh, uh, finding from uh, uh, sp specific experiments on, on uh, organisms. Thank you.